So, year two, welcome to the final maths lesson of the week. You've done a whole week of maths on YouTube. Well done. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Every Friday we're going to do some number work. So today we'll look at some number stories. It's a little bit different today, so we won't need our workbooks and you won't need to mark your work from yesterday. We'll do that on Monday when Miss Gardner and I have had a chance to look at everybody's. So that's a quick reminder if you haven't uploaded Thursday's work to Class Dojo, please do that by this afternoon. Today you'll need some plain paper, a pencil and you'll still need your partner to talk to. We're looking at number stories today. So here we've got three pictures. We're going to think about what story we could tell to connect the pictures. Now, stories involve using our imagination and I know you all have fantastic imaginations. So I bet there are going to be lots of different stories to connect these pictures. So here's my example. It starts off, once there was a hard egg, someone took off its shell, then it was a gooey, squishy puddle. Here's another example. What story can you come up with to connect these three pictures? My example is, once there were some juicy grapes, the hot sun shone on them for many days, then they became chewy raisins. And we can use this storytelling to connect numbers as well. Have a look at these three numbers. Now, when we're telling number stories, we don't need to use our imagination as much. The main thing we need is to think about what we already know about numbers. Can you spot anything that might connect these numbers? Have a think and then I'll show you the solution for the answer. The story we could tell is there were six, four were added, then there were ten. That might look a bit more familiar in maths if I show it to you like this. Six plus four equals ten. It's one of our number bonds to ten. That's the story. Have a go at this one. Look carefully at the three numbers and see if you can connect them. We can say 10 multiplied by 3 equals 30, or 10 times 3 equals 30. Sometimes it's tricky because there can be two different stories that you could tell. The stories are connected, but they look different. Look carefully at these numbers and see if you can spot one or two ways to connect them. We can say 20, take away 5, equals 15. 20 minus 5 equals 15. That's one story. Or we could say 20 equals 5 plus 15. The two stories are connected. They're from the same family, but they look different. So time for guided practice. With your partner, have a look at these four stories. Can you figure out which math symbol needs to go in the blue box to tell the story? The first two just have one box for you to fill in, but the second two have two boxes to fill in. Some of them might have more than one solution more than one answer or story. Make sure you're working with your partner to help each other. 
So here are the answers for guided practice. For A, 3 plus 5 equals 8. For B, 40 divided by 4 equals 10. For C, we can say either 19 minus 12 equals 7 or 19 equals 12 plus 7. There were two stories there. Finally, for D, we can say 5 multiplied by 6 equals 30, or 5 times 6 equals 30. For your independent work today, you can choose your own challenge. We've got three levels of chili challenge. The first one is mild. It's just got one chili. So there's still a bit of a kick there. There are still going to be some tricky questions in there. You have to think about adding, taking away, multiplying and dividing. So it's still tricky, but this is the mildest level of challenge. If you found the work so far tricky today, or if you're just feeling a bit tired today, I suggest you do the mild challenge. The next level of challenge is the hot challenge. Ooh, it's really kicking up a gear here. You have to fill in two symbols for each of these questions. If you found the work so far easy to manage or not too tricky, or if you're feeling full of energy, full of concentration, very ambitious, you can have a go at the hot challenge to start with. The final level is the spicy challenge. Now these ones are tricky. I don't think anybody should start with these ones. Start with mild or hot. But if you do have done mild and or hot and you felt like it went well and you're feeling ambitious and you really want to challenge, have a go at these spicy ones. Some of them will have more than one solution. So see if you can find both solutions. You don't have to do the spicy challenge. And if you're feeling tired today, or if you found the mild or the hot challenge very challenging, I suggest you leave the spicy challenge. Good luck, everyone.